Virgo. This is what happened in the next 48 hours for August the 8th through August the 9th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Virgo for August the 8th through August the 9th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Virgo for August the 8th through August the 9th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Virgo for August the 8th through August the 9th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. Virgo, you need to repent and get your life together. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Virgo, these are your cards, honey. So, Virgo, you have the world. So you may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Virgo, you can tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance or geographical distance. You can tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world. For Virgo, really? <laughs> Look at you, Virgo. Clarify the world. For Virgo, clarify the world. For Virgo, clarify the world. For Virgo, it is clarified with the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Where this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So Virgo, listen, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the wheel of fortune. For Virgo, clarify the wheel of fortune. For Virgo, clarify the wheel of fortune. For Virgo, it is clarified with the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It could symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that you're in the dark concerning something. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or there's a secret. Clarify the moon for Virgo. Clarify the moon for Virgo. Clarify the moon for Virgo. It is clarified with the Queen of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups, using your intuition concerning something, or searching your emotions concerning something. Also with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Virgo. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Virgo. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Virgo. It is clarified with the Two of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Virgo, either you're indecisive or you're blocking. Now Virgo, listen, you can tell me that 
very well could be an opportunity to change your luck and fortune here, okay? And close out a cycle, or it may require some type of travel. But you're using your intuition because you're indecisive. Virgo, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed because some type of secret came out. And you're using your intuition, searching your emotions because you're indecisive on whether or not to close out a cycle with this person completely. Virgo, you have the page of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So Virgo, you can tell me that there was some immature, premature communication had here, or you went looking and spying. Clarify the page of swords for Virgo. Clarify the page of swords for Virgo. Clarify the page of swords for Virgo. It is clarified with the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So Virgo, you can tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. You may be giving something here, receiving something here, or you're telling me that someone was giving more, somewhere else giving to two. Now Virgo, listen, you can tell me that you're communicating about more pay. <laughs> you can tell me that you're doing your due diligence and look for something that's gonna give you more pay. Virgo, you could also tell me that you went looking and spying and you discovered that they were giving more, somewhere else giving to two. Or you guys had some type of immature, premature communication about something being off balance in the relationship. Virgo, you have judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So Virgo, you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness in a second chance. Or you're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment for Virgo. Clarify judgment for Virgo. Clarify judgment for Virgo. It is clarified with the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So Virgo, you can tell me that you're physically moving or traveling. You can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or you're saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Now Virgo, listen, you can tell me that you have to make a judgment call or a decision concerning traveling here, okay? You can tell me that you have to make a judgment call or decision on whether or not you can forgive and put it behind you and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones with this person after some type of secret is coming out. Or you're telling me you're making a judgment to move out, move on, move away from the relationship and close out this cycle completely. Virgo, you have the nine of wands. Aries, Leora, Sag. This is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, eye to eye, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid. So listen... Virgo, you can tell me that you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up, you don't trust. You can tell me that you're guarding something. You can tell me that you're going to be persistent or you're standing your ground. Clarify the nine of wands for Virgo. Clarify the nine of wands for Virgo. Clarify the nine of wands for Virgo. 
It is clarified with the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone, demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking your truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So, Virgo, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Knight of Swords. For Virgo. It is clarified with the four swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Virgo, you're telling me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. Now, Virgo, you can tell me that you're confronting someone because it's, you're highly suspicious you don't trust could be concerning the coins and some type of travel here okay so you're meditating on confronting someone here Virgo you could also tell me that in this relationship there was a confrontation because you don't trust them and you're just gonna put this to rest and close out close out a cycle with this person Virgo you have the three of Pentacles Taurus Virgo Capricorn this is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Virgo, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that this is some type of an agreement or a contract collaboration, or there's a third party. Clarify the three of pentacles. For Virgo, clarify the three of pentacles. For Virgo, clarify the three of pentacles. For Virgo, it is clarified with the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. Could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. Also with the Queen of Swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Virgo. It is clarified with the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So, Virgo, listen, you can tell me that you guys are having this communication. You can tell me that you've come into some truth and clarity. You can tell me that you're making a decision or you're using this sword to sever now, Virgo, listen, you can tell me that you're actually making a decision concerning filing some type of legal documentation or paperwork, dealing with work or business or some type of an agreement or contract collaboration. Like I said, it could have something to do with your coins and a change in luck and fortune because at first you were indecisive and you had to meditate on it and get some straightens about it. However, Virgo, you could also tell me that you've come into some truth and clarity about there being a third party and you're cutting this person off. You could also tell me that you're making a decision to not work things out with this person and you're cutting things off. Because it could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance and you're deciding to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. I'm going to take a look at the Twin Flames Exposed for you and your partner, Virgo. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, I know we will be married one day. Oh. I know we will be married one day. Oh, Virgo. I'm going to also take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Virgo. And it says, we both know I am not the one for you. We both know that I am not the one for you. Virgo, this will happen in the next 48 hours for August the 8th through August the 9th, 2024. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, 
comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.